I knew from an early age I wanted to be a biologist. I wanted to study living things. And that put me into conflict with uh, many aspects of mainstream biology, which is reductionistic, mechanistic, and materialistic. I had to try and find a holistic approach to biology as I did my research. The idea of morphogenetic fields is of form-shaping fields within and around the organism. So within a growing leaf, for example, there would be a leaf morphogenetic field, which is also around the leaf, just like a magnetic fields within and around a magnet. And these fields, according to the hypothesis, shape the way the leaf grows. They act like an invisible mold or pattern that shapes the leaf by interacting with the electromagnetic and other processes within it. They also organize solar systems, galaxies. Large things are organized by these fields as well. And it works across space and time, from the past to the present. What I'm saying is that there's a direct connection between something that happens in the past and something that happens now, if it's similar. Nature is habit-forming, and most things in nature are habitual. The shapes of plants, the behavior of molecules, even the crystallization of ice is a kind of habit, only it's such a long-established habit that you don't notice any change in time because it's been going on in such a deep groove for such a long time. But in the lab where I worked, the biochemistry department in Cambridge, the idea of morphic resonance uh, didn't go over too well. Uh, when I discussed it in the laboratory tea room. And I realized that this was going to provoke a reaction of blank incomprehension from a lot of people. They all thought science was fine the way it was, and they just couldn't see that there was even a problem that needed a new solution. But I was convinced there was, and that there was a possible new solution, and this excited me, and this hope sustained me for years afterwards.